one little one little snippet we're going to share with you here is setting up groups when we mix. Now, basically what that means is is taking uh, two tracks, 20 tracks, whatever mm -hmm. it is, and grouping the faders together. So, for instance, if we take a look at our screen here, you see we have a room left and a room right. Now, these are the uh, room mics on, on the drum kit. So, we have two faders, but we want those faders to be even, you know, together, right? right. So that the sound is equal. On both right. Yeah. We really want them pretty much balanced at all times. So let's set up a group, and we're going to show you how to do that. You're going to highlight the, 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 the tracks that you want grouped. So you click one, and you shift click the second one. I see they both are on now. Yeah. Right. Now you could click as many as you want to be in, in, group. in your group. Yeah. We're just going to pair up the room mics here. So we click room left, shift click room right, and we go Apple G for group, and it pulls up a prompt, new group. So we'll call this rooms. Makes sense. Yeah. Then as you can see here, gives us a little group letter and the faders so, now. Right. So one, one of the faders controls both. Exactly. And this way they're both equal, exactly. equally loud or equally low, depending exactly. on what you need. And Mix groups also applies to edit groups. You have your, you could have your mix group set up and your edit group set up. Now, I'll give you a little for instance of that, and where that really comes into play. Let's say we want to edit. Uh, we have, we have. Let's say, let's just take the room mics for example, and let's say we want to, uh, you know, trim the room mics for whatever reason. And we have more than one track that we want to edit the same way. If we have a group, if you take a look at our screen here, when we highlight, it highlights the tr all the tracks that we have grouped to do whatever it is we need to do. This way, we don't have to sit and keep editing one track at a time. It's sort of a time-saving device. Very time-saving device. So really efficient way is to set up groups. Uh, in, in, in editing and mixing. And this way, again, if we, let's say we had 20 tracks of background vocals, well, you don't want to have to sit and, mm -hmm, you know, you could mm -hmm. just set them, in, them, into the background set them in groups and they'll all, yeah. they'll all move together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's a really, really great thing that, uh, that we wanted to share is, is grouping.